Hi everybody, it's Barbie here at Nellie and Ruth Designs, and welcome. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, um, thank you. If you're seeing my videos for the first time, I'd love to have you stick around and watch. Go back and see some of my previous videos. I, th I think you would like what I craft on here, and I'd love to have you join in on the fun and subscribe. And for all of my wonderful subscribers, thank you. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, I really enjoy what I do. I have fun. I like sharing. And I'm just glad that you're here to see um, what you what you can do through, through what I create um, and through what I see, um, my different visions. So today I have a couple downloads. I have some really, really, really pretty bird um, downloads, and they are from Christy Art on Etsy. I've had these two downloads, I think, since 2019, maybe even earlier, 2016, 17, maybe. I've never used them. Um, I'm really trying to go back. I say this in all my videos, but if you're new, I'm really trying to use everything that I have. I really don't want to buy any more. I, I recently made a big purchase from AliExpress uh, for some dies and stamps. Um, I'm waiting for them. And I've purchased some other dies um, from S Scrap Diva 29. And I think that's going to be it for um, this year and half of next year. I have, as you do, so many, so many digital downloads. I have so many suitcases and drawers and tin boxes just full of stuff. I really, I just want to start using what I have. Um, so today I printed out these beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm I'm working. I am going to be doing a Christmas junk journal. It's going to be retro. In my last video, um, I created these really pretty tags and I have to have birds in my journals. Um, so even though it's going to be a retro pink and green, um, I really want to incorporate these birds. I don't know if I mentioned it. This is from Christy Art, K-R-I-S-T. I A R T on Etsy. I will put her link in the description and you can go check out what she has. Um, I have some retro women from her, Christmas women, and she just has fantastic downloads. Um, so I'm going to use these. Now, what I did, because you're not going to find them these size, these, these size, these sizes. I think I need English glasses. Um, you're not going to find them this size on her. My desk is a mess and I misplaced my ruler, um, but I have another one. I resized these. Um, if you purchase these, I think these are labeled eloquent, uh, deliquit. I'm not sure what this download is, what it's called. But if you were to purchase this, it's going to come in a horizontal fashion. And you're going to have three across. Um, no, there's eight. You're going to have four across. So it will be like this. You're going to have four across top and bottom. But they are going to be smaller. So what I did was I took my image that I downloaded. I made a duplicate copy for myself and I threw it over into my um, Photoshop and I enlarged it. So I have four to a page. Um, so I'm going to be, these are mm, just shy, just a little over three and a half by, I didn't buy short of five. I just kind of expanded and made them fit. I didn't do a specific size. So, because I wanted something larger. I want to have these as tuck spots 
on my journal pages. So I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is cut these up. And I'm going to be using Tim Holtz ephemera um, and some other little bits and pieces to um, dress these up for Christmas. And I am going to leave a little tiny, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to leave just a thumbnail, a little tiny border around these. Um, I just want to get these cut in half. I'm going to use my smaller my smaller cutter to finish cutting these. Oh, let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? Is it? Is it? Um, golly gosh. Oh, let's see. I may have to put you on pause to find my, oh, here it is. It was under all the daisy stuff over at Tsunami Rose. I had a big stack of goodies on that. So these lights are kind of... Hold on, that's hubby calling. Call from. Oh, my husband loves to shop. But he loves to shop for... That was him on the phone. And he loves to shop for... Um, household products. I mean, I guess that's good for me, but I just have to let, he takes Fridays off and he did ask what I was doing today. And I told him I'm, because I'm back in the wor office working for him, I have to catch up on videos um, for the next few weeks. So um, he doesn't really have much to do around the house if I'm busy. And it, my son really gets upset with him because he does. My husband doesn't have a hobby, um, and my boys. I mean, we all have hobbies. We all have. I've had my crafting. Um, my sons have their, you know, gaming. They're big gamers with all their buddies and stuff. My daughter-in-law, she has her little hobbies. My husband doesn't have anything to do, so he shops. Um, so that was him. He. He wanted to know if he should get Cascade um, and some Dawn dish, dish launder or dish detergent. He's big on having backups and things like that. Um, I just have to laugh at him. He's getting ready to go out of town at some point and he likes to get zone his zone bars for the trip and oh he's funny I tell him sometimes I says I can only imagine if you were a woman what you would be like in, in the makeup department you'd have to have the latest and greatest This is really hard for me to see because of the lighting. So I'm just kind of guessing where the uh, cream colored lines are on this. They blend in pretty well with the white. So like I said, I'm not really concerned Um, if I leave a little too much white, because I am going to dress them up with some distressed ink. So I hope you don't mind me cutting all of these. I was going to cut a few, but it's like, what the hey, I might as well get them all cut. And then I can pick and choose. We can pick and choose. And it gives us a little time to chat, too, where I don't have to think. You know how some, sometimes when you, you're you working on something, um, I know Liz, hey Liz, Liz does this. She'll get working on something, and when, she con when you have to concentrate, you know, she'll concentrate. She doesn't talk, and I know why, because she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to mess up. 
I do the same thing. So I figured this is a good little time to chat with y'all. Speaking of y'all, um, I had some minor surgery uh, a while back, and I didn't want my husband to hit me in the middle of the night, so I slept downstairs in the recliner in the um, family room, and I let Daisy and Bella sleep on the couch with me. I wasn't on the couch. I was in the recliner. So we have, um, I have Fox Nation TV, uh, the app, and Paula Dean is on there, and I have not seen Paula Dean. oh my gosh, since she was on, I think, Food TV. I loved, I used to love to watch Paula Dean. and if you know Paula Dean, you know who I'm talking about, because she's always saying, y'all, y'all. And she is just a hoot. She makes me laugh. So um, lately I've been saying y'all. But I like Paula Dean. I think she got a bum deal. Really bum rap to cancel her out years ago. I just, I really enjoyed her. So, but she's on Fox Nation. So I can sit back and listen to that fun little southern accent she says. And y'all. I think she's a hoot. All right, let's work with, seeing that I'm doing pink in the journal. There's a little bit of pink in it. Let's get rid of some of these blues. It has just a little pink flower. Um, maybe I will use this one. We'll get these blues out of here. I really don't want blue. All right, so those go over in the pile with all the other garbaggio all right so i'm going to ink these up on the side i may even run a um some pink zigzag around this to add a little bit more good lord barbie here we go i have just been making video after video after video so my desk really is made a video a little while back and it showed my desk with all the junk on it with a question how do I craft like this well it's like 10 times worse um, but I'll clean it up and I just have a lot of ideas in my head and I really don't want to put anything away I just want to be surrounded with my little mini bits and pieces so let's see I don't think I'm going to sew yet I think I will sew at the end so this is going to be easy and again I want you to see that you don't have to use a lot of embellishments to get your point across seeing that these are birds and I want them to be Christmas and they're going in the retro album or album oh my god the, the retro um, junk journal I'm going to make. I have some Tim Holtz little bits and pieces here, um, tiny little things, and I'm just going to be adding, I'm going to be using them. I have, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, <coughs> I have a lot of my die cuts from, from before, my past projects. I'm going to be using them. So I'm just going to start picking and pulling um and seeing what i seeing what i come up with um i'm dying to use this but i think i have to use them on a darker i have to use them on a darker background um yikes oh that one got broken there see i think all these are pretty these are really light. I'd have to use more of a, a pink tree would be really pretty on one of these. Um, I didn't do hardly anything. I didn't cut a lot of stuff out in pink. So that's why I think here I'm just going to be using um, my Tim Holtz little goodies here. So I'm going to pull 
you know, I have some of these. Um, and because we're doing a tuck spot, I can overlap on the right-hand side and I can put it on the left-hand side of the page and vice versa. So I don't really have to cover up the birds. Um, and the other thing I'm wondering, I'm going to get my pink. Um, I think I'm going to maybe, let's do something fun with these. Maybe I can put some pink glitter. How about if we pink glitter these up and I can use some of these. We can glitter those into a pretty pink. Uh, what else could I glitter up? Let's pull a couple Let's pull a couple things here. We can um, use a December. We could glitter around that with some pink. It's time to use the glitter. Um, let's see, we've got, I'm just gonna pull some stuff here um, because it fits. We have a holy night. I'll just put out a bunch of stuff. We have a pretty Merry Christmas with the um, poinsettia. We have here, we've got the compliments of the season. Another little calendar. We have a tall calendar here that we could always put over here in the corner. We have that. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. I have some pink tickets I can pull. I know that. Let's see. A green ticket. We have a little envelope, a Timmy envelope. Another green. Like I said, I'm just going to pull a bunch of stuff here and then we are going to make it work all right so i'm going to step away i'm going to go get my pink glitter and then we're going to have some fun so i'm going to put all this away and i will be right back all right so i have my pinks let me just put some of this over here um i did take one of the cards and stitch around. I'm only going to stitch around one. The other two I'm going to leave plain, okay? I don't want them all to be the same. I grabbed my Royal Coat Decoupage Finish because that's what I use when I glitter anything. I have this bright pink, which is a fun pink. And then I have from this little pack, um, this I might have gotten at... Um, Tuesday morning, which is out of business. But it, look, it was $2.99, and I got all of these fun little pink glittery reds and pinks. So I pulled this one here. All right, I'm going to be using that one. Okay, so let me show you how I glitter up my goodies here and I don't know why once again daisies have an effect let's see I think this might have a oh I hear Bella whining and doing her little song and dance daddy must be home okay there's a little tiny Thing on here I have to take off. Yep. I wouldn't have gotten very far, would I, if I had left that on there. Would have been all buggered up. Okay. So I will do one and then I will step away again and finish the glittering because you don't need to see all of the glittering going on. But it's I do not use one of one of those glitter trays. Um, I mentioned that the other day in one of my other videos. The glitter sticks to them. You can't get all of the glitter out of the little 
I call it a shoot tube where it shoots out the other end. It gets clogged. Then your all of your glitters get stuck. And I just can't like that. So I use paper. I'm going to use this one here, this pink. And I just give it a good dumping. There, see that? Isn't that pretty? And then I just come over here and I take my tweezers because that's what I don't want to happen. Huh. I hold on to that. And I will touch that up a little bit right there. And then I just do this end right here. And I could dab it in there, but I don't. I don't want to flatten it. So I just add a little bit more here. And that one is all done. So this I will set aside. I will do the others. I just wanted to show you how I do them. Before I do that, let me show you why I why I do this on the paper and not the the fancy dancy schmancy thing you can buy. And I just put it and see there's really nothing that sticks and it's all back in here. And then you can just continue on with the rest of your glittering, glittering that you have to do. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all the glittering done and I've been playing around with a little bit of a design and such. Um, so these, I gave the snowflakes time to dry and then I pulled here some of the other die cuts from last week and I think I've got a little design here. Um, <clears throat> And we're just going to give it a whirl. Because again, I just want to show you that you really don't need a lot to um, whoops, have it just add a little bit of Christmas jive to it here. So I don't even remember now. Did I have that? I think I had it like this, didn't I? Isn't that awful? Can't even remember. I think I had it like that because, and I think I'm going to pop this up a little bit. I just think it needs a little bit of dimension. Um, Yeah, I think it just needs a little bit of, needs a little pop, needs a little pop of something. It's just looking kind of flat to me. Looking a little flat. Oh my goodness. I had my pin in too. knew I had these out because I haven't put anything away yet. My eyes are starting to, these lights that I have on my desk, they shine across. I don't have a down light like a lot of girls do. Um, 
they come in this way. I have dry eyes and this is these lights are really starting to get to me now. So I'm going to have to call it a day after this video. It's getting to be towards the end of the day anyways. And tonight is pizza night, pizza and game night. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to put that right on the edge there. Let that pop a little bit. I got glue on here for my fingers before. And I will put in the description these little dies where they come from as well. That way you can go and search and look everything up if there's something you're interested in. I'm going to put this right up here. And yes, I will have glitter throughout my book by using these here, but that's okay. I'll just make it a little more festive. I'm going to add a little bit more ink around here. We're going to add a crinkly ribbon at the top. This will be a little corner tuck spot. Have to add red, but I'm going to go with the pink because this is a Pink, pink, pink. Now, I do have a couple other shades of pink that may work better. So we have, that's more of a fuchsia, but that kind of goes with that, doesn't it? And then we have these beautiful um, crinklies are all from the... Um, my scrap cabin shop, and you can find her on Etsy. I'll list her as well. So what do you think? Which one do you want to use? Um, maybe that one. I don't really want to get into the fuchsia purpley. I want to try to stay as many pinks as I can. And I'm not going to be using a... Um, I call them brads. They're not brads. A gusset. I don't know. I'm not going to be using one of those funky things that you use your I'm just going to punch two holes at the top and I'm going to tie this off. So I will use my little crop a dial and I'm going to do smaller holes here um, so I'm just going to guesstimate here and here they didn't really poke through did they there okay so we are going to bring this through and we're going to bring this one through.
maybe I can make a little bow. And make it crinkly, crinkly. There, that's cute. I just want those little crinkles. Just want those little crinkles to come through. There we go. All right. All right. So there, there's that. Isn't that cute? I think that's very cute. So there's one. And then we are going to work on this one. I'll just leave that there so you can look at it. Um, this one here, I'm going to add a little bit more ink around here. And then we're going to be putting this down here in the corner. And I think if I were to add a bit of stitching around this again, gosh dang it, um, I don't think I would do the pink. I mean, I might do a really bright fuchsia that you could notice, but I might do um, a dark brown, you know, or something like that, because the, the pink over here, you'll see it's just not showing up enough. And then this I'm going to put, I'm going to put that right there like that. And I'm not going to, well, I guess I will. Um, I don't want to tack this down all the way because I want to stick some things through it. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like that, and then I'm going to have to poke and measure and figure out where I can put some of these things through. So, and I might just end up putting them through. There's the other snowflake that we have all set and ready. And then I'm going to be adding... I don't know if I want to do... I'm going to do the green. So I may end up putting these on first. That might be the way to go. And then we can put the, um, we'll do that. And I think I am going to ink these up a little bit. So maybe they're a little bit more noticeable. Because we do have quite a bit going on here. And like I said, sometimes the lights really don't help um, because I think it washes them out. Maybe that's what I need for. Um, I could ask for Christmas as a is a new you get a down light um, to do my videos with because these side lights are brutal. I think I'm going to have that going this way. And do I have, I have one more? I'd like to add another one. I'd like to add another one. Um, let's see. I don't really have a green one going in the... I'm over here to the right. You can't see me picking out my stuff, but I could have it coming down like that, couldn't I? That would add a nice little little more element dimension. Oh, starting to my nose is starting to get a little 
I think it's because of my eyes. And then we're going to add this here. Isn't that pretty? I think that's, I think that'll work out really well. Now, I'm just wondering. I think I might try to add a few dots to that. Um, just to raise it up again, I think it needs a little dimension. Of course, that's up like that. I could just do that center. Yeah, just do the center here. It just needs to, you just need to come up a little bit. There. And we're going to do the same on here. We're going to add a little pretty little tie boy this one this little one does not want to go through all the way all right and maybe we'll use this is a little bit maybe we'll use this one here this pretty bright one. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try to make this one a little bit longer. You always think, I always think I'm cutting enough. And then it turns out I don't have enough to turn or make that bow. Sometimes I might want the little... Um, more of it hanging down. And just be careful when you pull your, your little threads through that, or your ribbon through, that you don't really break the hole. I'm going to turn this upside down so the bow, the ribbon hangs down. So if you turn your item upside down and make your bow, the bottom ribbons will hang down. See that? And then I can just cut, I can cut a little bit here, but I wanna get my good fabric scissors so we can cut this here and then we can cut that one there okay there now we have that one that's cute that's very pretty I think they're going to be really pretty okay and then we will do this one here and this one is where I told you where I think I would do a darker um, thread. The light pink thread just isn't doing it for me, but I think you can notice it. It just adds a little bit, a little bit of a dimension here. Um, so I took my calendar and I glittered around that, which I think is cute. I'm going to make this into a little pocket. And I'm going to put this inside the pocket. Make sure I have, I don't want to do it upside down. So we're going to put this here like that. And then this can slide right down inside there. I think that's... I think that's cute, and um, I'm actually thinking that maybe, 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 maybe I would put I could put a little, little tiny little that would be cute, wouldn't it? 
put this cute little dab around the top here. And that could be kind of like where I lift it out. So we have that cute little, and I can write on the back a little note. So that will go right down in there. And then we have this sweet little three-dimensional bird. I thought this would be cute on here. And we will just figure out where we want to put this. I want to keep it into a, a cluster. So I think maybe, yeah, maybe right down here. And I'm going to add some glue to this. I love these dimensional there isn't that cute and then again we're going to put another um, ribbon up at the top here because they are kind of like a set so I want to do them all similar and if you stitch just make sure that you do not um, get your stitch in there. So, and then I think maybe this one, we will go back. We have that one. I thought I had a lighter, did I have a lighter pink? I think that's too much. The red is too red. Um, and then this one was too, fuchsia so i think we will i'd like to do a lighter pink let's look in my basket here um we have that one we have a very light pink Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty if i wasn't doing pinks look at that it's very pretty um, so I guess, I guess we're going to use this pink. I think this would be pretty because it has a little more of a tinty brown, um, like a rusty color in it. I don't know. Is that right? And then we will be good to go. Don't you love trying to find the ends? of this stuff here. Okay, let's see. Get this through. We're going to do the upside down bow again because that is what really works nicely and then you have a nice journaling um well if these were you wouldn't have these as journaling cards i'm making these as tuck spots right because you wouldn't really be able to write on the back of them with all the glitter and the three-dimensional stuff Come on, there we go. And then the other thing you can do, which we can do on this one. Um, well, we don't have to. If you have a long ribbon and you want it to hang, you can always drop it down and you can tack it down with glue, but we don't need to do that here. So there is, I'm just going to snip this one. Whoops, I'll take a little bit off of this there. All right, so there we have it. Let me move everything else out of the way. All right, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit so we can get them all in camera. So here is the, um, the cards that we're going to be using as tuck spots in the journal. And I just think that they came out 
really, really pretty with minimal um, pieces that we use to decorate. Um, you know, if you have the right elements, don't be afraid to use your glitter. Um, I love this little glittered edge around the Tim Holtz calendar. It just adds a little bling to it. Um, and it really won't mess up your books. These will have plenty of time to really set and dry um, before I get them in the book. So I want to thank everybody for joining in today. If you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up and comment. Um, yeah, we're working right along here, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.